it's important to know that we are heading into flu and cold season. And as the days get shorter and the nights get longer, the temperatures fall. Thus, our body temperatures fall a couple of points, which makes us more susceptible to illnesses. Um, flu season generally peaks about January to February. It runs from October to mid-April. Here are a few things that you want to keep in mind about the flu and cold season. Um, first of all, there are one, there are thousands of types of cold viruses. The average adult gets about three to four colds a year. So, that's about once every 90 days. And, what you want to do is if you suspect that you're having the flu, you would take your body temperature, which I'll just show that to you now. Hang on. Yeah. If your temperature is over 99.5, it's likely that you have either a cold or the flu. As you just saw, I was at 100.3. So yeah, today has not been a good day. Um, now I'm going to tell you about some of the cold and flu symptoms. First of all, fever is very rare with a cold. Of course, a cold starts with the um, tickling of the throat. And what's unique about a cold is that it can last up to two weeks. Generally, your voice gets muffled. You sound like me today. I do have a cold right now. And so some of the symptoms are runny or stuffy nose, which I have been having, sore throats, persistent coughing, um, and that's basically about it. Now the flu is different. The flu will attack you instantly. You could be like having a, a good day and like all of a sudden you get a headache, you get like a 102 degree fever and you um start start shaking like crazy crazy. And Your heart begins to accelerate. You might get some gastrointestinal illnesses such as diarrhea or vomiting. And you might also get. very sore throat. Of course the flu will generally go away within about five days. 
some instances, some instances, some instances, it could last up to ten days. For the flu, if I haven't already outlined the symptoms, you generally do get a high fever, which is a temperature measured orally at 102 degrees and higher. Um, you get a very stuffy nose. You really, you have a very runny nose, and you have like a dry cough, so like, yeah, you'll sound very, very loud when you cough, and others probably won't want to be around you, and you get chills, you're very tired, and you get a really, really bad headache. Trust me, I've had the flu like at least f three times in my life. It is not fun. And it is not fun to sit, to lay in bed while it's feeling miserable and tired. So, I'm gonna outline the symptoms one more time. Symptoms for colds, um, runny or stuffy nose, Persistent coughing. Sore throats. And that's basically about it. You might get a low fever, which is 99.6 to 101.9. Again, the symptoms with a cold are, the, are a running or stuffy nose, sore throat. Persistent coughing, and that's basically about it. A cold is an infection of the upper respiratory system, while the flu is, it is an infection all over. Again, symptoms for again symptoms for flu: a high fever, sudden onset of headache, chills. Fatigue, tiredness, you might get vomiting or diarrhea, although it is not very common. We did see that in the swine flu earlier this year. And yeah, so if you're like me, do yourself a favor and get some rest. Because you're probably going to need it. Alright? That was colds and flu, and again, if you have any questions, comment at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching.